Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your SMP 500 day trade setups for today. So, uh, big up, big down on Friday. We had the jobs number come out, people loved it, and then something else happened. Um, I think it was uh, probably Biden's speech, which then drove the markets down later in the afternoon. So, at the moment, uh, we have rejected a level. That's our level there. And we are again finding support down here. So again, this 4,000 level was rejected. You can see the waiting there, pulling it down. So, and the second thing to bear in mind at the moment is that this is now, if I can just get the end, is now looking like a channel. Uh, there is our channel, could be a flag, uh, so this could be the flag retest that's happening, but we just need to see what happens in this area. So if we start drilling down through the time frames, if we look at the three hour, you can see life was going on pretty rosy at one stage, and then all of a sudden uh, the chaos happened. And you know, that was a fairly decent uh, rejection, that 2.2% um, in the final session, well, the later half of the, the session on Friday. So at the moment, trend is down. That is a fairly decent rejection that we need to obviously get below this level to downside, just 39.22 uh, or 39.23. Uh, we need to get below it, come back uh, and bump our head up there and then continue to the downside. So that is the one level. The other thing to pay attention to is you do have, at this stage anyway, um, a higher low in. So if this level holds, then you have a possibility for a return. And this will just create a bigger range for us. So moral of the story is quite simple. Uh, break below here, 39.33, retest it. You have a continuation down, probably just to pick up on the trend line to the downside. There will be some kind of structure here. And you can pick any one of these tails here. I would actually just do that. So you can see there's a, the underside of this last cluster of chaos. And if I come down, you'll see that's kind of what I would expect us to aim for first is 38.82. Uh, but yeah, I strongly suspect we're probably going to have a little bit more downside here. Lastly, on the 15 minutes, you can see uh, pretty well structured through the European session. Here was the data and see how we climb and you would have expected it to come back onto some form of structure to just to define a base and then build. But nope, what we do is we drop below the moving averages again. So uh, to me, there's a shorting opportunity up here between 39.56. Thirty-nine seventy-three. So there's definitely a shorting opportunity up there. If price gets back into the zone, good opportunity to short. A uh, bit of a triangle forming here. The other option is a drop below thirty-nine twenty-three. Retest. Watch out for this low. Actually, let's just delete that and just bring in the actual low. There we go. Watch out for this uh, area here. That's at thirty-nine hundred. So that could um, offer some support as well. So that's kind of the view today. Uh, for longs to come into play, we're going to have to get above the high of Friday before we even start considering that. So we're going to need to be above the high of Friday. We're going to need to come back and test it and then move the upside. That would also break the, the channel at the moment. So right now, uh, short it is. We're still running with the shorts. But uh, obviously, you know, if you look at this bit of structure here going in on to Friday, there was a bit of profit taking here. Uh, and that could basically mean you know, we have a bit of a, a stronger rise, probably could be at the top of the range or alternatively to this trend line before shorting again. But um, that's what you need to pay attention to. Get your structure in. You're looking to short higher up. You don't want to be shorting down here. Get into the shorts. Um, your stop area is pretty much above the high of yesterday. So you know, this is a massive uh, a massive stop loss, so you're either a very small position or wait for better structure. But I suspect we're going to muck around in some form of a range for 
for quite some time. So if we do drop below these levels, then uh, you probably see a little bit of a, an acceleration onto these levels I've given you. I just want to see if there's one more level here. Oh, there's so much going on. Oh, there's one. I can see these two tails here definitely would offer um, support as well. So any shorts, obviously you want to be short off here if possible. That's 39.57 area. Your first target area, 39.23. Second target area, 3,900. Third target area, 38.82. Fourth target area, 38.58. So I would take profit at each one of these target areas, wait for the rebound, see what the re where the rebound rejects, and then jump back in for another move down. But that's kind of uh, the view that I've got for today. Anyway, hope that helps, and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.